Hey, this is Matt Scott from avnation.tv. We are here in lovely, hot Las Vegas for Infocom 2016. Uh, the show has been great. It is incredibly busy. The lines have been uh, incredibly long. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but we are here. We're inside. We are in the AMX booth as part of the Harman umbrella. I'm here with my good friend, Sean. How are you doing today, I'm sir? I'm doing fantastic, Matt. Good Excellent. To see you. Um, Let's talk about what you guys are showing in the booth today sure. from AMX and how that affects dealers and, and, and why dealers should care about what you're showing right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, first of all, from an overall Harman perspective, tremendous amount of product. We have over 325 products on the stand. That's across the Harman portfolio, including right. AMX. Uh, from an AMX perspective, what we're doing is showing solutions, corporate, education, and government. What's well, a big focus for now, us now. As part of Harman, is wrapping together the total solution with audio in addition to all the video and control things we've been doing. So we have a solution wrapped around the Microsoft Surface Hub, for example, okay. in the conference room space. Uh, education space, we have our K-12 solution. Um, again, bringing in Harman audio products and our video products. But uh, as far as AMX brand and some of the uh, announcements for the show, a lot of activity from SPSI. Okay. So uh, SPSI, a lot of requests for a wall plate encoder. Right. So we have a wall plate encoder that we're using. We're actually using some uh, hardware from our DX Link product. So okay. it's even though it's only been a year, we're already kind of getting the engineering teams working together, doing that. They've also introduced a N1000 windowing processor, a networked AV processor. Again, the benefit of the N1000 is it's, it's basically HD based to okay. zero latency practically, it's minimally compressed, beautiful video. So and now we have the windowing processing capability. And it's what's really interesting is we've been really impressed with SVSI's uh, control platform. Even though it's not anywhere near as powerful as Netlinks at, at right now, yes. it's very flexible and it's very easy to use with uh, with IT community. Okay. So it's basically JavaScript and HTML5. Right. Um, it's something that they didn't you know market as heavily as they did with their other video products. So. so We've actually incorporated into a Madero S uh, touchpad. Okay. So, and what's great is that the, the panel firmware to actually build the panel actually all exists on the touch panel itself. And you can use HTML5 and use JavaScripting for controlling other devices. And it's all a self contained unit. Right. So, and why is you know, moving towards that HTML5 framework, why is that so important in today's IT communities? Yeah, great question. So, again, as we start, and as you guys know, we're selling to IT now. And so, yes. If they want to extend a system, you know, going back and using and learning a proprietary touch panel design software, yep. again, our AV community does it, and they do some wonderful things with it, but we want to give our IT de uh, departments tools that they're familiar with, where they can go grab a web developer, every web developer knows HTML5 yes. and JavaScript, and they can actually go and extend a control system, right? Well, not only that, does it also not uh, increase the speed and the ability in which, and the flexibility, really, yep. of what you can do in those touch panels, Absolutely. because you're not having to let that code live out on a processor somewhere else, right. it can live natively because it's so small and so, so exactly. dynamic. Exactly, and then with the, the cool thing about their software is it can also serve up a mobile app, uh, okay. so our, mo our mobile experience. So when you create the interface, you can create one for the touch panel, but also in the same tool, create a mobile experience, right. and then you just browse in that uh, panel's web page, from, and, and you don't have to load an app on your phone, or you don't have to load right. an app on your tablet. So it, it, it's clever because of the way SVSI came about doing that. We thought, mm -hmm. that's really neat. Let's let's put this in a Madero ass and see what the community can do with this. Okay, very nice. Now, as we kind of started this conversation, one of the things you touched on was the integration between brands. Mm -hmm. Why is that, you know, because we know Harman has, you know, it's a very nice umbrella right. of products. Why is it so important and, and so helpful for a dealer to A, work with Harman right. because of those brands, but to leverage that brand variety, if you will, right. to come together and provide that total package, that total solution uh, for their end users. Yeah. So, you know, the first step, getting all of the uh, brands under one roof mm -hmm. is great from a service and support perspective. Right. But we're still not really truly helping profitability of the dealer until we start bringing these products together where they can be installed as a system. Right. Our goal is to simplify how our products or our solutions are installed, used, and maintained. Installed by the integrator, used by the room user, and maintained by the IT department. Okay. And that only comes from pulling these products together into an ecosystem and have centralized management software that can manage it all. Okay. Now, we're not all the way there yet. But right. we're making a lot of great strides. In fact, one of the demonstrations in the back of the booth today is showing how SBSI is working with BSS and Crown and being right. able to pull networked audio streams off of SBSI and bring that into signal processing and amplification. Now, when you say it can be managed by IT staff, is this part of a greater uh, concept, if you will, mm -hmm. to have AV techs and a AV firms really embrace the IT side as far as bringing IT management on? Yes. Or is this something where we're looking at 
also allowing IT staff in that facility mm -hmm. to be able to manage the product, or is it both? It's both, and, and there, we, there, we do have AD, our um, integrator partners, who are actually offering services to okay. uh, their customers, and we are giving them tools to enable that. We also have a lot of other customers, end users, saying their IT department has taken complete ownership of it, and they want the tools to maintain okay. their ecosystem and their products. So, and so what we have to do in that case is make an AV system look, feel, and smell like an IT system to manage right. it all. Yeah. But that's really where we're seeing the industry headed towards yeah. that, and I hate to use the phrase, but the IT convergence yeah. of really allowing that IT framework, right. if you will, which is, let's, let's be honest, that's a bigger bigger nut than, than our AV side of things, but really create that framework that allows the teams and the facilities to get together, mm -hmm. which in turn means, hopefully, a much easier sale for the integrator. Yeah, exactly, and the other great thing about being part of Harman they have a whole division of software development and services. Right. And so these are some cool things that we're starting to do now as we're starting to engage with that division because they're experts in cloud uh, services and delivery of cloud services and analytics and data uh, analytics and visualization. Okay. Which is the other thing our IT customers are asking for is like, in addition to maintaining the box, I want all this data so I can make better decisions on how I can right. utilize my space and maximize productivity for my people. So, because we're really to the point where, you know, gone is the day of just installing a system and walking away from it. Right. We're, we're to the point where, uh, again, with some of these network products and, and capabilities, we can pull all that, all the metrics yep. and know how often that room's being used so we can help our clients, you know, make better investments and, Absolutely. you know, purchase better products and continue our uh, profitability. Exactly. Very exactly. nice. Exactly. All right, so for more information on, you know, A, what you're showing at the show, sure. but the whole catalog, yep. where can people find that information? So www.harmanpro.com. And then, of course, you can drill down from there to amx.com, bss.com. But we're actually starting to really start to wrap this together. Right. And the solutions can now be found on harmanpro.com. Excellent. Also, too, here at the show, in addition to the Harman booth, great demo area in N110. Okay. JBL and, and the speaker guys have got some amazing products up there to go check out. Amazing. Perfect. So Well, I'll, I know I'm definitely going to head down there for sure because yeah. I always love a good speaker demo. Oh, yeah. But for more info from the show, more videos just like this, please visit avnation.tv.